right, people, what's up? We're back with the turbo cart, and it is looking really good. In the last episode, we basically mounted up this piece of plywood and put all essential items to run the EFI on it, and it worked out really good. Um, an issue we realized is that in order to make boost and truly tune this motor, we need to have load on the engine. We tried holding the brake and stuff, but it's just, a, it's kind of sketchy. We're revving up the motor a lot. We're sitting right here, like, it's not ideal. So what we're thinking of doing is basically changing all of this up and mounting it finally, doing a final installation on the turbo car. Let it self-tune a little bit. I know some of y'all don't really like the self-tuning features at Ecotrons, but we talked to John and Isaac at Cars and Cameras and they had no issues with it. So I think we're gonna get a baseline self-tune and then we can do some data logging and adjust wherever we need in the curve. So that's what we're gonna do. Then we can put it all back on this, take the cart fab and get it on the dyno. Right, some of you guys brought to our attention an MIT article about single, single cylinder turbocharging. And most of the time it's not practical at all because you can't build enough boost pressure because there's only the turbo is only spooling when the exhaust valve is open. So in order to fix this, people add an air capacitor, which is like an air tank that stores boost. It's usually 4.4 times the displacement of the motor. So what we're gonna do is make one up, put it probably right about here or so, and then that way we'll be able to store boost, and then every time the intake stroke opens, we're gonna have an equal amount of pressure going in each time, or more if it's at a higher RPM. So this should really help us out. Let's get to fabbing. Hey guys, oh, I also forgot to mention, I'm wearing our Turbo JDM style 212 cart shirt. It's pretty cool. Joe comes up with these designs on his own. Pretty good artist, so be sure to check him out. It's pretty cool that we're kind of ahead of the game. We can wear the shirt of the cart we're working on while we work on it. So if you want to be wearing the shirt of the cart while you're watching, you can go ahead and do that. So thanks guys. Okay guys, we are looking pretty good. So I just, this flex hose is perfect size. Just goes straight down. Uh, I'm really glad I was able to get this as compact as it is. Uh, there's not, it's, it's packaged very well. So this side is pretty much all done. Now what I gotta do is I gotta cap this and then um, run the runner from the throttle body to our capacitor. I hate hole saws. There's a whole saw clip of our, in our intro when I'm drilling the holes for the gauges in the CJ. I'm just like two hands holding on for dear life, so. Cross fingers, hopefully this doesn't turn into a decapitation device. I'm not gonna try to touch that, but there she is. She's done. Uh, it's a little ugly. Well, I mean, I don't know. I, for any of y'all who have tried to weld, um, like galvanized uh, exhaust, it's hard to make it look really good, um, especially because it's just so thin. Uh, so I might do a grind job over here and over here. This is kind of heinous. Um, I used one of the Trumpet Go Power Sports um, like exhaust end tips and I welded that to there but I had to hammer in some of the edges and then I just kind of layered on welds because there were a lot of holes and stuff where, the, where this melted. Don't really know what I'm going to do there. I might exhaust wrap it. But as far as functionality goes, this is a really efficient capacitor. 
and it's tucked up right up in here by the engine. So it's all, it's pretty easy to install and it's gonna have good airflow right up through here, out along with the vent here. So air will be around this corner. The only kind of bottleneck area might be right here because it's completely flat and doesn't have a, a taper to flow in, but I just don't have the metal working tools to be able to do something like that and make it look not like that. All right, so we just finished up painting and mounting the capacitor. It looks really nice. Um, it looks a lot prettier now that it's on here. It kind of looked weird just all by itself because it's kind of made to fit around everything. But we'll get all the wiring hooked up and then we can start tuning this thing and getting it as close as possible before we ride it. Okay, so we got everything hooked up. We got our laptop hooked up to the ECU. Everything's working all right. At the beginning, we did have some trouble getting it running. Uh, the fuel enrichment wasn't correct, so on startup, it'd be really hard to start, and then after that, it'd be you'd have too much fuel or something like that. So we got we emailed Ecotrons, got all that cleared up. It runs pretty well now. So let's see if she starts. Just need a little gas. Should be safe, so yeah, we just gotta burn this to the ECU. Progress. Dang, we're tuners. Kinda. Self-proclaimed, but hey. We're trying. <laughs> Also, kind of a sneak peek, that's another little rotary motor, KM48, and our plan is, because it's a little bit less rare than our rotary cart, we're gonna kind of do a full EFI kit and turbo on that too. So, stay tuned for more rotary turbo action. And they're similar, similar base horsepower, so we'll have to do a rotary turbo versus 212 turbo shootout. So we just finished up all this bracketry, Jason painted it for us. So now all we ought to do, this should slide right into place. And the reason we're actually going with this tank setup is because we need it for, we need it to have gravity feed to the pump. The pump doesn't have enough power to draw it up. So that's kind of a bummer with the kit, but we'll get it bolted in and then we'll get on to moving, putting our body back on. All right, so now that all the wiring and the EFI is all done, now we need to work on the body of this thing. So it's been sitting for a really long time. There's been tons of grinder dust, oil spills. It's just been kind of abused and been tossed around a little bit. So what we're gonna do right now is sand down the top clear coat, get all the 
grit and grime out of it, and then we'll hit it with 2K clear, which will give it a really nice shine. We have one small problem with our hydraulic brakes is that the body cannot fit completely on them. So what we're gonna do is just cut out a little small hole in the hacksaw, and that should fit. So we got the whole body wet sanded and everything prepared and we got the 2K clear ready to go on. There's a couple mistakes with it, but it should look really good with the 2K clear. Okay, first coat's on, it's like super shiny, it looks wet. Yeah. So now it's time for coat number two. All right guys, this thing looks incredible. Like it's so shiny. It really brought out all the, it brought like all the colors, if there was like mismatches or like different gradients, brought them all together, the sh light shines off of it the same. Awesome result. Yeah, and the difference between this and the rotary is we used a lot more paint on this. This has two coats that are really, really thick. And I think if you're looking for this kind of finish, can't be stingy with the 2K. That's about a wrap for this video. This turned out amazing. We really love the 2K primer. So basically in this, we went through our air capacitor. We had got the tuning good. We kind of figured out that it was probably best to drive this thing first and let it self tune before we put it on the dyno. Um, what we still have to do, we have an alternator from an ATV that we need to throw on this because the Predator 212 doesn't have any sort of charging system. So we're hoping we can gear an alternator to where it's not gonna take away too much power or anything like that and we'll be able to get a charge out of this thing. We also wanna throw a digital dash on this thing. So that's going to be incredible. Stay tuned for that. The EcoCal stuff has really cool opportunities that allow us to use the digital dash and things like that. So thank you Go Power Sports. A lot of the stuff from this cart's from Go Power Sports, stage five engine build, all of that stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you next time.